now call to order the special Aranaquai Town Board meeting, October 5th, 2017. Visitors are invited to join the board members in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, Councilwoman Barnum? Here. Councilwoman Hushleray? Here. Councilman Perticone? Here. Councilman Weiner? Here. Supervisor Seeley? Here. And attorney for the town? Here. Thank Th you. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Uh, th we have a brief uh, agenda for this special town board meeting, which was called uh, in order to allow us to uh, move forward with some uh, sanitary sewer improvements uh, in Turtle Rock Lane. And we also will be affixing to the agenda a uh, resolution um, relative to our police department and the hiring of a new police officer. Uh, with that, Madam Clerk, please call the first item for board consideration. Item number one, awarding Turtle Rock Lane sanitary sewer improvements. Motion. Moved. Second. Second. Thank you, Peter. Uh, Commissioner Kiley, explanation, please. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. The resolution before the town board this afternoon would authorize the town to award the contract uh, for the sanitary sewer uh, replacement project to Villager Construction in the amount of $309,889 uh, with zero cents. Um, there was significant interest in this project from across the field. We had six different bidders um, with uh, the highest range being almost near 600000 and the average being uh, in the 450000 We were very fortunate to have Villager Construction, a very good firm, uh, coming in at a very um, reasonable price and uh, just to walk me back uh, Bob, <coughs> um, this money uh, will be forwarding fronting the money um, out of I believe general fund however we do expect to be reimbursed by the state of New York through the uh, infrastructure fund that was created this year that is correct sir so we are uh, fronting the money through the sanitary sewer fund balance and then we will be um, reimbursed through the uh, HCR the grant program uh, through the state of New York, uh, through the Housing Community Renewal Grant Program that has been uh, made available to municipalities that are eligible for um, projects, reimbursable projects. Board members will recall that this was necessitated through the uh, com potential uh, existing sanitary sewer line being compromised, which lies between the residences and the uh, cliff on Turtle Rock. So the most prudent way to protect the infrastructure is uh, we determined was to move the sanitary line to the uh, center center line of the road? Uh, adjacent to the roadway, and then it actually kind of uh, skirts through the center of the road, so that is correct. Okay, very good. Any uh, further questions? Just or one question. You know, we had that little meet. We had the meeting over at um, Pine Grove that night, Bob. Yes, sir. Is there still, I went down there, there still seems like there's still some work, private work going on? Um, no. Or is it all... That is correct. There is right. still private work being done. Uh, okay. Homeowners have taken advantage and continue to take advantage of the uh, funding made available through the state of New York uh, for uh, the stabilization and renovations and repairs to many break walls. Uh, of, out of the seven or eight homes there, about half have either implemented or are implementing um, remedial measures to uh, steadfast and, and kind of make secure their, their property, their embankments and, and break walls. Uh, I am aware of at least three that are still in uh, the New York State DEC permitting phase, so they're waiting to get permits to uh, to then get approvals to implement uh, shoreline stabilization practices. Will there have to be some coordination with Villager and some of the those contractors, or not much? Um, there, there very well may be. Okay. Um, you know, we anticipate getting through the uh, the the main. Um, the actual digging of the main sanitary sewer and laying of that, uh, which will allow access back onto the roadway. Um, and so we will certainly make all considerations to ensure that, you know, private residences that have private contractors doing work um, uh, for private property to secure those properties will be able to access the site. Um, I think that's it's a very narrow roadway for everybody right. that's been there. It's about 10 feet wide. And so uh, having access and, and making sure that it's a close coordination between the public contractor, villager construction, working on behalf of the town, and private contractors working on behalf of the homeowners uh, is occurring. Okay. Thank you. Here we no further questions or comments. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? 
Resolution is adopted. Item number two, regarding sanitary easements on Turtle Rock Lane. Motion. Moved. Second. Second. Thank you, John. Uh, Bob, explanation, please. Thank you, Supervisor Seeley. Um, this resolution authorizes um, the acquisition and signing of several sanitary sewer uh, easements uh, required for the various properties uh, to connect in the sanitary sewer laterals into the new sanitary sewer main and for the sanitary sewer main itself. Uh, so this resolution would authorize uh, the execution of those uh, temporary and permanent easements uh, for the properties along the east side of Turtle Rock Lane. Any questions or comments for the commissioner? Before I call the vote, I just want to thank uh, uh, the commissioner and his staff, particularly our um, sanitary foreman, um, uh, whose name is Flea to me, and I'll have to apologize. Um, uh, but they've done a, a terrific job. Uh, Chris Young, excuse me. Um, <laughs> we have only five foremen. I, don't, I can't remember them all, apparently. Uh, but this was not an easy issue to deal with, and um, it involved a lot of direct communication with residents. And even though it's a relatively small uh, corner of town, um, it's important that we were open and transparent with the residents and honest with them. Um, so I thank Bob and his staff for that. Any further questions? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Resolution is adopted. Item number three, authorizing the hiring of a police officer in the Arundaquai Police Department. Motion. Moved. And a second. Second. Thank you. Chief Tantello, explanation please. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. Uh, tonight we are recommending the appointment of David Gramlich as a police officer for the Arundaquai Police Department. This is to fill one of our current vacancies within the agency. Uh, Mr. Gram Gramlick is on the civil service list for police officer candidates. He's completed all the testing for the Monroe County Civil Service uh, Commission, which includes the psychological and medical testing, and has uh, also participated in an extensive background investigation conducted by the members of the Irondequoit Police Department. He comes to us with some previous law enforcement experience. He has a criminal justice degree from MCC, and he is a graduate of Eastridge High School. And I believe a, a current town resident, correct? You are correct. Thank you. Okay. Any questions or comments? Well, thank you, Chief. I know we've uh, it's been a process to fill these, and I'm glad we're doing it. And I, it's good for our overall uh, workforce. So thank you for your work on this. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? The resolution is adopted. This concludes our uh, body of work for this special town board meeting. Our next town workshop meeting is coming up Tuesday, October 10th, right here in the Broderick meeting room of Town Hall at 4 p.m. Next regular town board meeting is Tuesday, October 17th, 2017 at 7 p.m. I will now entertain a motion to adjourn. Move. Move. And a second. Second. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Meeting is adjourned. We hope you enjoyed this presentation of the Irondequoit Town Board on ICAT 12, Irondequoit's government access channel.